So let's start with the basics. What do you need to get started drawing with dip pens? You're gonna need some nibs. These are the Zebra G nibs that are popular with comic book artists and manga artists. You're gonna need a nib holder. Nib holders come in two varieties. The Tachikawa comes with these rings and the Stedler comes with metal prongs into which you slide in and out your nibs. You're gonna need some smooth paper. Of course, you're gonna need ink, a bowl of water to clean your nibs and a rag to wipe off any excess ink or water. Tip number one is to make sure that you prepare your nibs correctly. When you get your nibs, you're gonna want to wash it with a little bit of detergent and a soft brush and give it a little scrub. This helps remove any excess oils that might be present during manufacture that protect the nibs from rusting. If you forget this step, your ink might not flow smoothly and evenly. Tip number two is to make sure to submerge your nib correctly. Make sure you dip your nib directly into the ink and don't let the ink go past the nib and onto the nib holder. You only want the ink to fill the reservoir, the little center holes, and that is all you're gonna need. Tip number two is to control your amount of ink. Once you dip your nib in, you're going to want to wipe off any excess ink on the side of your inkwell. This reduces the chance of any excess ink dropping onto your drawings and ruining them. Tip number four is to choose the right ink. Do your research and choose an ink that is designed for dip pen use. These inks are generally thinner, less viscous and dry quickly, reducing the risk of smudging or smearing. My current favorite is this Speedball ink. Super black, as the name suggests, it dries really dark, black and luscious. It is waterproof. I enjoy working with these Winsor and Newton inks. This one is water soluble, that means you can lift off some of the pigment with a wet brush after the pigment has dried. The waterproof one, however, does not lift any pigment once it's dried. Another favorite is the Art Spectrum ink. I used this in my last video. Tip number five is to make sure that you use the correct paper. Bristol Smooth Surface Paper is the one that was most highly recommended to use with dip pens. The surface of the paper is smooth, making sure that it protects your nibs. Your drawings will come out clear and even on this type of paper. I have noticed when working with other types of paper that the ink will soak into the fibers causing your drawings to look dull. The Bristol paper has been the most successful with most of my drawings. Tip number six is to practice your grip of your pen correctly. You're going to want to hold your nib with your thumb and index finger. Your middle finger goes underneath and your nib holder will rest on it. Your pinky and ring finger curl underneath and rest on the paper. When you draw, you're going to draw with the nib facing down, not upwards. Angling your pen a little too much to the left or the right can sometimes cause the ink to not flow evenly. Don't hold your nib too close. You might mess up your fingers with excess ink. Try to find somewhere further down along the nib holder and find an angle that works for you. Tip number seven is to practice varying the pressure while drawing. Try experimenting with different levels of pressure, holding your pen firmly, pressing hard, and pressing lightly. Don't press too hard, you could damage your nib. Draw different lines and shapes and get a feel for the pen. Try vertical lines, diagonal lines, curves, and uneven lines. Tip number eight is to clean your nibs often. 
You want to make sure that any excess ink is removed and that you give it a good wipe after you finish drawing. Especially when taking a break, you don't want your ink to cake over and dry. Once you are done drawing for the day, you want to remove your ink nib and your nib holder and give it a good wash, especially with some soap. That way you're going to be ready for your next drawing session. Tip number nine, don't make the mistake that I did. Don't submerge your nib in water for hours. They will rust. As a newbie, I let the ink dry on my nib and to loosen the ink, I decided to soak it in water. This damaged my nib and nib holder irreparably. Tip number 10, practice makes progress. If you're using a dip pen for drawing, it can take some time to get used to this tool. With practice and patience, you can master it. Have you used dip pens before? What have you learned that others could benefit from? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you found some useful tips in this video. Catch you in the next one.